Hi guys, welcome to GTTV The Sim. Uh, today we're looking at the wheel outer. Uh, you guys have already completed the hub, so now we're looking at you then making forward progress in terms of your gameplay. So we've got measurements that are on the screen, and you can see is all the measurements that you need to create this revolve. Having already completed a, a more complicated revolve with instructions for the hub, uh, this should be relatively easy. As you can see here, we've the section view is sliced through the view, and so we've got two bits. Uh, showing AA there. Uh, in addition you'll notice if you look in the right hand corner this is a first angle view so we've got a different L shape to the normal. We've also got the center lines here which show you that everything is symmetrical from either side. Now there shouldn't be any problems with you using this to guide you through to ensure that you have more uh, ease of getting the measurements to make sure you can see everything properly. There's a JPEG saved on Moodle if you follow the little flyer that pops up at the bottom of the screen you will find your way to the place on Moodle where you got that saved. Okay, now I'm just going to go to the part. So you should have created this part. So use the JPEG, get to this stage, and then follow the instructions from here. What we're going to do is we're going to do some fairly simple patterning to create the wheel tread. I'm going to sketch on this face and go normal tech. Here I'm then going to use my centerline tools. And obviously centerline tools don't affect our islands that we're using for this. I've got my centerline going straight up and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to again do a bi-directional chain either side of it which is going to allow me then to get to my tread. Now there's an error here because it says that they haven't actually propagated properly which is correct. As you can see we've got some solid lines, we've got some uh, center lines as well. So I can fiddle and play with those because you'll notice the center line, or the, sorry, the center line that was in the middle has now become a solid line. We'll need to deal with that later. I'm going to draw a circle from the middle out to this ridge line on the wheel hub, uh, on the outer wheel itself. Dragging and dropping over the original will help us with that. And now I need to snip out that line from the edges. Having trimmed it, that will now allow me to select the edges where the lines meet. As I said, that was supposed to be a construction line. So now I can clip on here, and right here, it doesn't matter what you what measurement you get at this stage because I'm going to use a smart dimension and measure between those two and make that seven degrees. Now I could draw this on the other side, but there's a quicker way of doing it. So what I'm going to do is bring these lines to the middle so I've got half of my island. So mirror entities. It's already selected a line, but I'm not sure what that is, so I'm going to delete that one. Pick the lines I know I want. Pick the mirror about, pick the line that's in the middle, and you can see you get this yellow preview. Now, when I've done this, I've got lots of um, red and yellow stuff coming up, which means that it can't con resolve its own sketch. Uh, that means that it's got problems with it, and normally it means that it's encountering issues to do with measurements, so I've just deleted a couple there. And as you can see, it goes blue, and now it's fully usable as normal. Into my extrude cut, set the depth to 575, check the preview is right, and green tick it. That's my first stage. Now, for the SolidWorks icon, I've already got mine pinned out. Go to the view tab and click the temporary axis. That gives me the blue line in the middle, which is the center of the revolve. And then for the linear pattern, I'm choosing the circular pattern from that icon, from that drop down, from the top. Picking the line in the middle, you'll notice I get a green line next to my icon when I roll over it. We need 16 of these, and now I need to pick the feature. So into the plus up here, finding the feature, which is that one. See the preview, green tick it. That's our first stage. Now I'm going to do the same on the other side, but these have to be stepped um, off the others so they're actually not symmetrical. So sketching on that face, same normal tools, good practice. So now I'm going to change my view here so I can actually see what's going on. As you can see by tuning this I can actually see the cutaway sections and I've also got to do the opposite. So if I've got cut here I then need a solid on the opposite side, etc. So the cut from the middle, which means my first one has to be off centre from there. So first thing to do is to start with a centre line from the side and then draw another line. Now I know that this needs to be 12 degrees from the original. 
same as before I'm going to use the offset and the duty button again now I've got the bidirectional I'm going to show you how we can get away from those errors that happen by just doing a single one this time again circle in the middle out to this outside edge now as you'll notice the lines are getting a bit in, uh, unclear at this stage what's going on uh, I'm going to trim this out because I know that's right but I'm starting to struggle to see what I'm doing so once I've clipped from here to here and set that to 7 degrees trim out these bits you can still see what I'm doing there um, now put it back to full colour and it makes it a bit easier to see what lines are drawn and which ones are the ones that were existing mirror entity tool again choose what I want to mirror so it's that line that one's already there so I don't need it mirror about another line and green click that complete the island so from the top of this line that one and obviously I've got to remember the little bit that I didn't trim earlier that bit green click it now with this one it hasn't picked it up because there's something wrong with the contour so if I roll over it and pick the pink and green click it it knows what I'm talking about so if you're ever struggling to select something that's the way to do it and the same as last time circular pattern find the middle line which is there as you can see the green line pops up again pick it out of my puffs here it's that one got 16 green click it and that then brings us to the full wheel shape uh, your next task is then going to be mating it to the hub that you've already made um, which will then allow you to present your final diagram uh, or the graphic drawing thanks for watching dtv